I mean, I think that's, again, I, you know, you, it's not something we think about very much. And it's one of those subjects that when you start thinking, I mean, I, it must be quite difficult when it's your job. When you start thinking about it, it's like when you're a kid and you start thinking about how infinite the universe is and how that and how that works and your mind gets blown. When you start thinking about memory, I mean, pretty much all of our experience of existence is memory. There's this moment in the present that is an, uh, ungraspable and then everything else is memory. And even the future is, you know, you're using memory to predict. When you're thinking about the future, you're incorporating memory rather than anything else. So we are, you know, almost entirely composed of, our brains are almost entirely memory. Uh, and our And our experience of life is almost entirely memory. And that is sort of mind blowing when you, stop and think about about that and the repercussions of that. That's right. Yeah. I, as I mentioned in the book, Danny Kahneman, who won the Nobel Prize for his decision-making research, talks about the idea that there's the experiencing self that does things and lives life. And then there's the remembering self that makes the choices that basically the experiencing self is stuck with. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the remembering self doesn't remember everything. It remembers the highs and lows. You know, it remembers the beginnings and the ends. And uh, that's what guides our assessment of whether or not we've made the right decision. It just guides our decisions and guides whether we're happy or sad with it. So uh, it's exceptional. I mean, just like if you take a moment and your producer said, how did that go? Are you happy with this interview? You're already in the world of memory just a few seconds out, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it is freaky. And I think also to think about, to be made to think, which I have thought about a little bit. Um, I've, in my podcast, I've ended up interviewing a couple of uh, ex-girlfriends who have been successful in the, in the... And then we've ended up talking about why we're no longer together in the interview. And, and their memory of why we broke up is entirely different than my memory of why we broke up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But of course, we, we're, we're creating uh, a false memories and, 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 a, and a narrative, that obviously, to protect ourselves and to make us either to make ourselves the heroes of our own story or to make ourselves not as villainous as we thought we maybe we really were. But it's it's sort of interesting how unreliable memory is as well. Yeah, I think we can remember often very accurately, but there are times where we can go off the rails. Um, and then there's many points in between. I think sometimes if we remember one part of an event correctly, we'll assume everything else is also 100% accurate. And I like to say there's no such thing as photographic memory because memory is more like a painting than a photograph. Yeah, so uh, if I'm trying to paint a picture of you right now, I might be able to get some details that are really quite accurate. And I might be able to get some things that are distorted and inaccurate and violate some important aspects of your appearance. And I might put some things that are neither true nor false, but they're just reflections of my own interpretation and perspective. And I think this falls into the category of where you and your ex-girlfriends might differ. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I, I talk about in the book that say this line from Star Wars where he says that many of the truths that we cling to depend on our own perspectives. And yeah. it's absolutely true. Uh, yeah. And you can even find that what happens is your beliefs in the present will color those memories. So even if you're in a healthy relationship at the moment, which I hope you are. I, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we won't go there, I guess. But, uh, but if, even if you're in a healthy relationship and if you get into a conflict with your partner, it's really easy to think of all the things that have gone wrong, all the things that they've said to make you angry. And then you make up and everything's good. And not only can you not remember those things, but you can't even remember what you fought about. Right. It's very true. So, <laughs> so our, our feelings, our beliefs in the moment are shaping our narratives of the past. And those yeah. narratives can completely change if our feelings and beliefs change.